Welcome back. Today, I want to talk a little bit about project management. So we've been working on our top-down adventure game for several episodes now. Now, we are starting to get into where we have many different things that we want to manage. So the easiest thing that I have found to manage a project with any sort of scope to it, sometimes, even if you are brand new to game development, it's worthwhile doing this for a very small project it can help gather all your thoughts in one place. So we're gonna be directed to this website called Trello. You can just sign into Trello using whatever Gmail account. I'm already logged into mine. And this is the board that I have set up for the Top Down Adventure game. You can add these lists right here by clicking on add another list and just typing in whatever as the title, as you can see. The way I like to organize these is I have a to-do list, a current list, so this is what I'm working on, and then a done list. I'll also include a bonus stuff to do list of just things that I'm thinking about that I know I'll have to do eventually or ideas or what have you that aren't necessarily relevant to the work that I'm doing right now. So we can see here that I've got several things to do. I've got environment art, player animation, enemy art, enemy animation. So a bunch of art based things. I'm currently working on the player art and the design aspects of the game. I've already done the core code and the enemy core code. If I open up any of these cards by just clicking on them, you can see more detailed information about them. You have your description, which is whatever you want it to be. Trello is designed where you can work with different people, but I like to use it for solo projects as well. You can assign different members to it by using this members button and so on and so forth. One thing I like to use is checkboxes. So for instance, if I grab this checklist from my mechanics, my core mechanics hard, you can see these are the options. Now on my monitor, it's very hard to see, but there are in fact checkboxes right here that you can cross off and keep track of what you're working on. You can delete your checkboxes as well. The way to add a card is simple. Just add card, type the name of it, and then click on it to open it up and you can edit it. These are the cards of the stuff that we've already done for our videos, our diagonal movement, our bow attack, so on and so forth. We also have our state machine framework, our patrol state, and our attacks. This is how I recommend staying organized on a project. It makes it a lot easier. Plus you get the added satisfaction of just checking off things and seeing, being able to drag stuff over to your done column when you are done with them. I hope you found this interesting. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, comment below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.